Artificial birth control has been legal in the U.S. for almost half a century, but President Obama antagonized the Roman Catholic Church by ordering it to offer its employees free contraceptive coverage under his new health insurance law. Though Obama modified that order by having the church's insurance companies be the direct contraceptive providers, the church is still resisting. It's supported by Republicans in Congress. No man or woman should ever be forced to betray that faith. When the Republicans convened a Capitol Hill hearing on the issue, nearly all the invited witnesses were male religious spokesmen. The committee rejected testimony from a law student who said her Catholic university had denied her classmate birth control coverage for a serious medical condition. A woman's health takes a backseat to a bureaucracy focused on policing her body. Democrats called the hearing a travesty. For millions of American women, reading the news this morning was like stepping into a time machine and going back 50 years. Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum, who now leads Mitt Romney in national polls, says he personally opposes all contraceptives. But he had to distance himself from a comment made by his biggest financial backer. So, you know, back in my days, they used bare aspirin for contraceptives. The gals put it between their knees, and it wasn't that costly. Both parties believe their positions will bolster support from their respective bases come Election Day in November, though polls show most Catholic women are at odds with the church on birth control and favor government-backed coverage. The issue still holds risks for Obama. It's likely to uh, help the Republican Party uh, because it could be a way of wooing uh, uh, Catholics in the swing states such as uh, Pennsylvania and Ohio. In a close election, the voters' judgment in those states on birth control could determine the outcome. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.